So in order to master Midjourney, you need to know all the various tools, and one of them is the Remix tool. What does Remix allow you to do? Well, you know that when you create an image grid by giving it a prompt, so in this case I did Conor McGregor sewing a jacket in the kitchen, aspect ratio 16 by 9, you can make variations based on which image you like best. So let's say the second image here, I go ahead and I click V2. So as you can see, it produced four new images in a grid that resemble slight variations of the second image that I liked. However, I didn't get to interact and give it input and give it some direction as far as modifying some things about the second image. Remix allows you to do just that. So straight from Midjourney's user manual, it says that Remix mode allows you to change prompts, parameters, model versions, or aspect ratios between variations. And I want to point out that the prompts and the parameters are limited in Remix mode, but some of it is very helpful, and I'll show it to you in a second. But it says Remix will take the general composition of your starting image and use it as part of the new job. So that second image is going to influence the grid that comes out. Remixing can be helpful to to change the setting or lighting of an image, evolve an object, or achieve tricky composition. So how exactly do we activate remix mode? Well, you go to forward slash, and then you could select settings. And if you hit enter, you will see over here that the remix mode in default version is just grayed out. But if you click it, it'll turn green, and that means that it's active. And now if we go back and let's say we click V2, we'll actually be able to input some helpful advice to Midjourney as far as what we prefer. So now if we select V2, we will see a remix prompt window. And here we can go ahead and actually adjust the initial prompt for image number two. So for instance, I'm gonna add 1800s because that is the time setting and the feel that I want for the photo. And let's see what happens when we click submit. So now if we take a look at the output, we could see in the backdrop, it's got a little bit more of an 1800s feel. So now before rounding out the video, and I will include this resource in the description, I wanna point out that certain parameters and certain prompts, there's a chart of what actually affects the variations and remix versus what affects the initial generation. And as you can see, aspect ratio, no, stop, tile, and video, all according to Midjourney, affect the variations and remix. So why is this helpful? Well, because rather than just clicking the variations button and getting a mix back, we can give further direction to Midjourney for the AI art that we wish to create. And now if you've enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know which topic in mid-journey you wish for me to cover next. I'm going to make a lot of AI tutorials and I am really digging mid-journey so I'll make a lot more tutorials on mid-journey itself and then I'll probably hop on over to Stable Diffusion. So once again, I appreciate you guys for watching this video in its entirety and I'll see you in the next one.